Are we ready? Ready. Ready? All right, guys, this is the sheep heart. If we look at the front of the sheep heart, we know it's the anterior, because this right here are the oracles. It's the left oracle, this is the right oracle. They face forward, which means in between them, we're gonna see the pulmonary trunk, right in between the two oracles. We know we're in the pulmonary trunk because it's going out of the right side of the ventricle, which is thin. This would be the right ventricle, this would be the left ventricle. See how the left ventricle is much th thicker than the right? The right pumps blood only to the lungs from the pulmonary trunk to the pulmonary arteries. The left pumps blood to the whole entire body from the aorta. So this is responsible for the systemic circuit and this is responsible for the pulmonary circuit. If we put this back together, we can see that over here, still on the thin side of the heart, the right side, we can see some AV valves. We have an AV valve here between the atria and the ventricle held together in the ventricle by this chordae tendinae. The chordae tendinae attaches to this papillary muscle, and because we're on the right side of the heart, the thin side of the heart, we're going to call this the tricuspid valve. If we go into the tricuspid valve, we are in the right atrium. We got here via the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava, both returning blood from the bottom of the body, the lower extremities and the abdomen, and the upper body right there from the arms and the head. We go from the right atrium into the right ventricle, and again, from the right ventricle through the pulmonary trunk, which is in between the oracles. If we look at the thick side of the heart, the left side of the heart, this would be our left AV valve, the bicuspid, also called the mitral valve, and these again are the chordae tendinae, which are attached to the papillary muscles. The roughened area inside the ventricles are called the trabeculae carniae, the roughened meat. So as we leave going out the left side of the heart, the thick side of the heart, the left ventricle, we're going to go out through the middle, which is the aorta, and we can see over here this aortic semilunar valve. We have several aortic semilunar valves. So again, the aorta being an artery is much thicker than the veins which we saw in the superior and the inferior vena cavus. This, lay, 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 ah, this layer on the outside of the heart is going to be called the epicardium, which is our serous membrane on the outside of the heart. We also can call this the visceral pericardium. The lining on the inside is going to call the endocardium, and the heart muscle itself is called the myocardium. In between the two ventricles, we have our interventricular septum, and then again up through here, we have like the interatrial septum, which is kind of difficult to see because of the aorta and the pulmonary trunks kind of in the way. They're right in the middle. If we again put this back together, this is the front, this is the back. Back here, we would have the coronary sinus where blood returns from the heart to the heart, and we can see that even the coronary sinus dumps blood into the right atrium. So all blood returns from the body and from the heart into the right atrium. And that is a sheep heart. Okay?